All right, so um, uh, I have no idea what happened before, but um, to be honest, I just don't want to go back and merge it. <laughs> so I'll just make a new video. All right, so we left off with the meteors, all right, and we decided that we we're going to use a for loop there. Um, now, what I'm going to do is actually is for the space shooter ones, okay? As I see that I have like large meteors and small meteors, but I remember I also had, I went back and I created these ones, right? So let's look at these. Uh, these are all different sizes. Oh, I just open that one twice. Okay, all different sizes. And what I did was I kept the name exactly the same. Okay, um, we can put O1 or, or whatever. So I kept the name exactly the same. Um, I just changed the numbers. And there is, a there is a reason for that. I could go through each one and upload each one individually. That would take a long time. We don't want to do that. So we'll say for I in range, Okay, and since this starts at one and ends at five, we know that in a for loop, the first element is the zero, uh, starts at zero. Okay, it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna have to start from the number one, and if I want to end at five, I go to six because it doesn't go up to the last number there, right? And so here, we're going to do this. Uh, we'll say image is equal to get image. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the same function that we used before to upload images. So let me just scroll up a little bit. See this one right here, get image. We have to pass a file name and a color key if we wanted to, but we definitely have to pass a file name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the file name, and that file name is gonna be asteroid. Okay, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a double brackets. Now these are not parentheses, and then and they're not um, regular square brackets. They are curly brackets. Okay dot png all right and then at the end of that dot format i all right and then i'm going to close this off i'll explain what this means so our asteroids one two three four five okay notice that the number is the only thing missing here this is a placeholder and you can think of it like that and the dot format means that anything placed inside of this parentheses here will be replaced here um, it doesn't have to be in a for loop, but in this for loop, i is the thing or is the value that gets placed here. So since i will go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, every iteration, this i changes from 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, thus uploading all five of them in a second. Okay. Then after we've uploaded it, uh, we're not going to pass a color key just in case we don't need one, or maybe we might. We'll then add it to the meteor image list. So meteor image that append, and we'll just append the image right there. Okay. And technically speaking, now when I run this, as soon as I, as soon as the program runs, I have all the images in a list. Okay. Then I can just go to the class meteor. I will take away here. You would you would have had a self dot image dot fill. Just get rid of that. And we're going to then replace this. So random dot choice uh, meteor image. Okay. So this will randomly choose an image in the list, a meteor image that now contains five of them. And if we were to run this, we'd have a invalid syntax, which is awesome. So because I forgot the word in. But then. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we got here. All right, so look at all that, okay? Now, what do you notice is wrong about this picture? So in this case, the color key doesn't need to be black. It looks like it needs to be white. Uh, and so that is one of the main reasons why we didn't set it black initially, because most of the time it, it seems to be uh, the, the black outline on the back of the image. But in this case, all of them are white so we're gonna go down to here okay all of this right here that's this file name comma the color key and I don't have to write color key equals unless you wanted to okay that would be a positional argument there but we can just write the color white which will be replaced to color key after it uploads the image it will then take out you know or trans create transparency for the white coloring around the image and then run that sucker and look at that okay it's coming together okay now um there are some things that we could probably do here 
such as like rotating it because the asteroid doesn't like no who like what asteroid falls like that i don't know so it would look nice with a little bit of rotation we it looks like we can have like some a score would it be nice to add um actually there's a lot of things we can probably add to this right explosions uh yeah so a lot of things that we have left to do with that so what i'll do is let us call this video because the next one is going to be a little bit more challenging getting it to rotate is actually pretty challenging um and i want to create something that will help you understand that okay